Well, Rob, uh, obviously Elvis Tyone coming in for next season, the guy you've looked at and quite closely in an area yeah. you needed to bolster after Chrissy White. Yeah, obviously what happened with Chris was obviously a great shame for him and, and for the club. It was always going to be a key area for us to try and get a hooker. Um, and obviously the, the nice thing with, the, with Elvis is we actually had a, had a good look at him a little while ago um, when, we were, when we were struggling a little bit at hooker before with the hooker injuries we had. Um, and so you know, I was aware of the qualities he was, he was bringing to uh, Jersey. I was able to look at two or three international performances as well where he's performed very well um, and, and he's, he's what I like to do you know he's, he's a little bit different to our other hookers They're, so they'll all be they'll all add something different he's um He's a bit more of a straight up and down guy, you know. Likes to knock people over, likes to you know run hard and straight, and his set piece is improving all the time. And he, he wants to he wants to move to the Premiership for all the right reasons. You know, he wants to be in a really good environment uh, in the build up to the World Cup. Um, and he's very very ambitious and very enthusiastic about playing well in that tournament. And he knows that to do that, you know, if he trains hard, plays well in a, in a really pressure uh, pressure environment like the Premiership, that it'll it'll hold him in good stead. So I'm really pleased with the signing. I think he'll 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 really um, add the competition in in a position. We're very strong, um, and again, it's um, well, he'll be he'll be a vital member of a squad that's obviously got a big job next year. We've seen over time that guys from the championship can make that step up, mm. and just from our own experience, yes, we? that's right. And I think I think a, a good proven championship player, as you say, can, can step up and get up to speed pretty quickly with a good pre-season, and obviously with good guys, uh, good guys around him. And it's always that balance, isn't it? It's that balance of bringing guys that you see and giving them opportunities, uh, as well as adding quality. Um, and I think we're doing both really well for next year. So, as I say, we, we still might be one or two signings away from where we want to be next year, especially with James Hanks now retiring. So we're, we're looking for a lot. But, you know, we're, we're getting there and I'm, I'm comfortable with where we are for next season. And as I said, you know, the, 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 uh, the shame of not being in the, the Heineken Cup because of the great games you get involved with, it, the, the flip of that is it does mean you can you can rotate and manage your squad a little bit through the Amlin um, as it allows and, and that often uh, has proved to be very successful for us as well. You alluded to it a minute ago, the amount of guys that have come through and had that first mm. season. Hooker in particular with Jack and, and Luke, they've really had a, a baptism of fire this season really. Yeah, that's right and it's like I said, I think you can talk about 10 or 12 players who've, who've broken into the regular 23 for the first time this year and that's important because you know the same the same guys aren't going to go on forever and, and we've seen that because we've, this year we've had we've had three guys of our kind of rag, regular match day 23 over the last two or three years retire you know completely from the game so there is going to be a, there is going to be a period as change happens we've also got to manage that very closely and we've got to develop our young players as well as we can but um, as I say there has to be the balance that's to be the balance of where we want to go and, and what we're doing now and I think today like I said we, we, we hit the reset button pretty well and got back to showing the, the basic qualities that you have to show to be a good premiership side.